and hello uh sis off um sorry for not uploading anything in a while um no particular reason uh just haven't really got around to uploading anything it's been a busy couple of days for me um <coughs> but as you can see this is a new game map melee warband as but you probably already knew that uh so i'm gonna start a new game obviously uh, this is vanilla Matt and Blade Warband, no no mods uh, at the moment. Anyway, so welcome venture to Matt and Blade Warband. That's not really anything important right there. Select your character gender. Now we could go for easy-ish or really really hard. Okay, someone's knocking on my door. Yeah. You come and park with us. No. Nah. So, uh, anyway, yeah, but my brother, um, so we go male or female, male or female, which one, hmm, let's go male, um, you were born years ago in a land far away, your father was a veteran warrior, as a child your family, something out of meager, Living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets with without a weapon in your hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... A steppy child. As a boy growing out of childhood, you rode the great steppies. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. On a horse of your own, learning the ways of the grass and the desert. Although you sometimes went hungry, you became a skillful hunter and pathfinder in this trackless con country or county. Country. Your body too started to harden with muscle as you grew into the life of a normal man. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a squire. A Thing, a uh, singer, basically, a university student, a goods peddler, a smith or game poacher. Ah, from experience, I know a goods peddler is really good. And squire is really good. Uh, we're gonna go with squire. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were, when you were named a squire to nobleman's court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them. How to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric uh, idea, ideal idea, you also learned about the less uplifting side of old warrior stories of ruthless power, politics, no, well, yes, of betrayals and usurpation of men who used thing as well as valid to achieve their arms. Yeah, I'm not that good at reading. But soon everything changed and when you decided to strike out on your own as an adventure, what made you take the decision was personal revenge. It makes you stronger. Does something. Does something else. Does something else. Gets you better trade. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, Wonderlust. Only you knew exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. You're not even sure when your home became a prison, when your when the familiar became something. But your dreams of wandering have taken over your life, whether you yearn for some faraway place or many for the open road and freedom to travel. You could no longer bear the, to stay in the same place. You simply went and never looked back. They come and adventure right your destiny. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's, let's go realistic. So, fuck me, I'm dumb as hell. Sounds about right, actually, to be honest. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it sounds about right. Uh, so, I got two more points. Uh, charisma's good. But no one charisma or intelligence. Intelligence. So, name. Oh, name, 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 name. Uh, thinking of a decent name, kind of like a you know, soldier's name. I'll, f I'll think while I'm putting in these. Okay, so one in trade, one in prisoner management. 
spotting, mm, not really spotting, training, looting, riding, what well, I want riding, athletics, shield, athletics, definite, uh, weapon master, power draw, power strike, iron flesh, two more, mm, treatment, Hmm. I do, do, fuck, I've put it in, I can't take it out. So yeah, obviously, now I have to go with that. Um, inventory management. Spotting is pretty useful. Um, cock. Anyway, uh, name. Uh, name, name. Will William the fourth? Oh, sir. Fuck. Okay, no mind. Okay, so that is it. That, that's the name. This that's not a William. That does not look a William to me. We're gonna be young. We're gonna be. We're gonna be young. That that's. That's a William ish. That, mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. That, that, that is a William ish. Mm, no, that's a, that's me. Yeah. Mm, yeah let's go. A bit darker. William. William the Fourth. There we go. Okay, you hear about. That I still, all the years I've been playing, I still don't know how to say that. A land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other over for supremacy, even for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally, you hold the key to your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will. And that whatever course you course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Kaleda and its kingdoms, you do you want to come into the King of Swedia. Yeah, that that's pretty much yeah. Uh, you come by, <laughs> you came by caravan through the heartland of Kaleda. <laughs> Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil of the rolling hills and on the lowest slopes of the snow-capped mountains. Herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on the spring glass. glass. That's obviously glass. Occasionally, too, you catch <coughs> you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the Swedish nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled. As the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness, you keep a wide berth of the forest where this desperate men have taken refuge, and it is some relief when you cr crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven. 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 Its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn Praven, 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 and fall asleep quickly, however. You wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear the sound that stands to your hairs on the neck ahead. Uh, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Yeah, sorry I can't really speak properly. I've just had like a meal. And I, oh, I hit 888 frames there. Good God. Okay, so I'm trying to remember how to play the game. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is a really overpowered weapon. If you're, if you can aim straight, which I can't. Fuck. Okay, well that lasted long. You're dead, motherfucker. Okay, moving on. There's another one. Obviously, all of you who've played the game know. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, maybe you can help me out with something. Let's talk more aside. Out here we don't know who's listening. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. 
or we go near him to speak. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers, few men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls keeps them who let him what how the hell I keep, how the hell I get who keeps them who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets last week you see they took my brother I don't know what my brother was thinking a lad from a prominent house out alone after dark in times like these well I suppose you were too but you're a stranger I'm from a prominent house oh god I didn't know that but you're a stranger here hmm? yeah I didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse, but he's family. So what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people start thinking that you can't protect your investments either. And I can't have that. Wow, this guy's a dick. He's a dick. He looks like a dick, too. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom. But I don't care to pay it. Wow, that guy is a dick. That guy is a dick. This is my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade. And more importantly, you must have a bit fire in your belly. And that would fucking hurt. Or you wouldn't be coming to, yeah, to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to the lair, teach them a lesson that they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll have my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? You may as well just, you may as well just say yes. Because you get 100 dinos that you automatically blow on buying people. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. <laughs> No, I can beg to differ. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. You'll first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads and villagers around here looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So take this purse of a hundred dinars. Consider it an adventure on your reward. Go around. Go around to the villages and use the money to have some help. I reckon that you'll need at least five men to take out these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. It's William. Good, you can find me again in town here and praven, 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 praven after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. Anyway, so. This is the map. There we go, enough link of the map. To Asgard! Yes, 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 yes. Wait, no, to Praven, 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 Praven. Wow. How the fuck did that happen? Okay. Um. Marketplace, I always normally go to the marketplace. Oh my god, I have no money. Decent weapons. The, the, the horse. And some smoked fish. I love smoked fish. Asgard. Hmm. So, the village I got prepared. I'm not gonna read everything. Good God, that would make every episode so long and unbearably, painfully boring. So we're going to. And I can't see anyone. Okay, recruit forty. And now to that place. Good God. That oh. Come on. Come on, am I faster than them? Yes, I am. <gasps> yes. Lucky for you, you caught me in a good mood. Give us all your coin, I might just let you live. I'm not afraid of you lot. Fight me if you dare charge the enemy. No, for fuck. For fuck. No, fuck. There we go. So, the game. No! God! What? You press... Ah, you press that button. Okay. The button above shift. Why is my guy looking over there? <gasps> they're here. Fuck me. Throwing rocks. Ah! I hit you in the chest. Oh! In the face! Oh. Fuck! I missed. So yeah, um, this game, this game is 
Cheap. Mount this mountain blade warband. Warband, not mountain blade. Um, it's a modded game if I've ever seen one. Probably next to Gary's mod actually. Um, I deliver 24 damage. How do I not kill him? So I'll let my guys. I'll kill that guy. Right, yeah, we didn't lose anyone. So yeah, uh, it's a good game. I recommend it actually. Um, uh, wounded. And these guys. Uh, that's actually a really good game. Uh, actually underrated most of the time. Over ten, 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 over ten. Over 10. But it's not not over ten. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of a, a I'd say underrated game really. It's a lot better than the most would think. And that is my friend. Let's go offline and go find that party of thirteen there. Okay, there we go. Surrender or die. So, um, what was I? I have no idea. Everyone charge. I really only have infantry at the moment, but hey. So, yeah, this game, recommend it to everyone and anyone. It's a third first person strategy game, which is so easy to get the hand of. I mean, uh, out of all the games I've ever played, Definitely one of the easiest to um, get used to, and there is no really winning. Uh, I've got a lot. I've got like 200, I think, 200 odd, maybe probably more hours of gameplay, and I've never actually won. That was one hell of a shot. Um, fuck, my recruit got killed. Anyway, um. Fuck, I missed them both. So I've never actually won. Um that's not meaning I'm like bad at the game. I'm actually well I'm not brilliant. I mean I've got my ways. Alright, cool, neat. We win. No, we don't win. Let me go shoot this guy in the back. So yeah, it's really long. If you're into games where you can just play and play and play, get this game, because I've never got bored of it. I mean three hundred odd hours. 200, 300, give or take. Uh, kind of speaks for itself there, really. Oh, get a hat. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it kind of speaks for itself there. Uh, oh my god, more people. No, I click party, not fucking... Mm, only one. I don't really like upgrading ones when I can... No, do I? Do I? Do I want to? Let's upgrade first. So let's go intelligence. Um, uh, um surgery because my guys won't die. And pathfinding, pathfinding, spotting, pathfinding, spotting. Uh, pathfinding or spotting? Pathfinding or looting? Maybe even athletics. What about, what about, what about uh, power strike? What about that? Um, oh, I've got no idea actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Trade actually because we can get more money earlier on in the game. We are faster than by four. They're probably going to turn around and try to kill us. Oh fuck the mountain bandits. No, I don't want to fight mountain bandits. Not that I'm afraid of them. It's just... They are trained in the art of killing horses. Pretty much. The bandits uh, in each area vary. The bandits here are designed to fuck up your day. The bandits here are the main type of bandits. Uh, I can't remember what they're called over here. Sea Raiders. Forest bandits. They are archers, obviously. Um, and then those mountain bandits come from the mountainous area. And they... 
The mountainous, yes, the man, the mountainous, and they are well, they're spearmen mainly. Yeah, spearmen, and then you've got. Well, I'll show you. I'll show, I'll show you. But first, we need to go to the tavern. This is where the guy is. We're like a ransom broker. Searching. Good. Why is that? Uh, thank you. So get sell them. No. Um. Ooh, oh yeah, that's the one guy in there. Uh. Wandering minstrel. Ah, the merchants of Praven, 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 Praven. Splendid work you have hired enough men to take on the bandits now, travelers. If you've proven have told us that there is a small group of robbers looking on the outside of town, I suspect that they are all from the same band that the one that took my brother. Hunt them down, defeat them, and make them the closed location of their lair. Very well, I shall hunt for bandits. I don't know why I did that. Actually, I do know why I did that. Anyway, um, I think this is probably the best way, probably the quickest way to go to the Guildmaster. Is to do this, Guildmaster. You have to have a job for me. Uh, you're looking for a job. Actually, I was looking for someone that could escort. Like, uh, sorry, I can't do that right now. I have a life. Uh, leave. You don't really get paid much for that job. That's kind of one of the bad jobs. And here they are. Just let them run off for a bit because there we go. Now they're on flat land, flatish land, more flat than that area. Ha! Those prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Charge the enemy. Thank God. Thank God we're not in a fucking hilly area. Fuck, I spoke too soon. Well, they have to come down to us. That was one crap shot, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Don't ask. Don't, don't ask. Don't go there. Fuck, I missed. Aha! See, I would die if that happened to me. Maybe this guy's made of... He... Yeah, well, he's dead now. Um, you're dead now. Ow. Fuck. Oh, ho! Oh, oh, that was one hell of a shot. I need to see that. What? 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 Yeah, lol. Okay, that was interesting. Isn't the guy who, isn't the guy who just got shot? I spare me, spare my life. Let me go, and I'll go far away from here, and then an honest trade, and you'll never hear of me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding him, and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts, and you can go free. Oh, bless you, sir, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. Uh, oh, sorry, no harm. <laughs> We've been helping him. We've help. We've been helping him. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Asgard. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. You're mine now. That's all. Silver ten and all the other stuff isn't. So, did I rank up? No, that was. That was a really annoying buzzing noise. Okay. Attack the hideout. So, okay, um, fuck me, shit, what, okay, um, what was I going to say, fuck knows, okay, so there's a bunch of guys over here, once we do this, we can give them back, get more money, and then if I, hopefully, the guild master has got a Decent job for okay, that's you missed. Aha, I hit him. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, well, uh, that didn't go well. I'll just stick to it, my sword. Ow. Anyway, yeah, the melee system on this game uh, kind of defines around two options. You have automatic block, which is what I've got on, because I'm cheap. Or manual block, which is basically you look where to block, and it blocks. So if I looked up, block up, look left, block left, kind of, kind of, yeah, but if you look down. So yeah, like this, That that's kind of how it works. And it's the same thing with the melee system, except you swing left, stab, slash, yeah, that sort of thing. And then bro for brother for shields, it's, well, shields is just an all-out block in general. Fuck me. Hardened. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and your shield just block every direction and they block arrows, which is, makes them better. Just just makes them better. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. My god. My god! Um, so now we go claim our money. To the tavern. Some ransom brokers still here. You sell that guy. Uh, now I can talk to this guy. Fuck, I didn't read it. Uh, the money is most welcome. I'm glad to be honest with Good. Now you're interested in making some more. Yes. Possibly. What do you need? Uh, remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally side of walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, the captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to that, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk, and he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. And of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I do the same if the heavens forbid ever face indebtedness that the heaven. Uh, basically, he wants us to be his bitch. Yeah, that is what's happening right now. Obviously, um, as you probably tell, uh, this is this is Praven, 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 Praven. Uh, it's quite a nice town, really. There's uh, some nice chaps over there. Very kind, not not violent. They are quite understanding. Um, they're throwing stones at me. I mean, that one fell to sleep. Uh, that that one uh, wants a nap too. That one that one didn't fall asleep. Go to sleep. That one has a bow. What the hell? All the others are throwing rocks. My shield is going to break. Anyway, yeah. What was I saying? Fuck, the guy, stop throwing stones at me. Die. Fuck. Die. Just die already. Thank you. Ow. This guy's made of steel, I swear to God. Some woman there unconscious. There are many few bandits scattered off the town's narrow alleys and only hunted down. Only to be hunted down one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. And you you and the merchant head to his house to review the day's events. There's no one in here. There's no there's no there's a candle. That is a better fire animation than Assassin's Creed. Anyway, um, ha ha ha! No, ha ha ha! Well done, I saw at least free, free, free. Fuck you! Uh, yes, let every villain learn to fear the name William the Fourth. Yes, yes. Now a couple of my boys with the red watch captain pinned down in a no, no, they do not have him pinned down in the back room. I checked. And I'll check again. No. However, that water animation is not better than Assassin's Creed. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been the first episode in, hopefully, a long series. Um, this stretch. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you all next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. You all know what to do. It's YouTube. doesn't really change. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see ya.